Hey there YouTube, it's Mr. B from Pint of Stuff here and we're coming right back at you with another sneaker unboxing. It's a bit of a big box here. Super excited to see these. I called these months and months ago as one that I was super hyped about. So SJ, what you're gonna do is you're gonna speed up about now as I unbox. <sighs> so we have got the fabulous multicolored box, but we're gonna go over on here because we're gonna do this the usual way, the usual way that we do this, just so we're gonna open up. So we've got a Nike SB Dunk Low Pro OG Quick Strike, OG for sure. They are a UK 11 and a half. No, they're not. They're a US 11 and a half. That makes them a UK 10 and a half. I got that completely wrong. They're black, black, white, and the code is CZ5127001 and uh, they did RRP in the UK at 109.99 and uh, shall we just do it? Are we on the main camera now SJ? Amazing, amazing. So we're going to do this. So first of all, we all know we've got this um, multicolored box. We've got good old fashioned wood cup paper. Wow. Wow. So let's get them out. You lot aren't seeing them yet. And of course, if you're new around here and you don't know what we do, we do tend to do sneaker unboxings, which have a cinematic on foot element. So you are going to see these on foot later in the video. So don't forget to hang around on that. We do sneaker streaming Sundays every Sunday. <laughs> Oops. Where um, we talk about sneakers and things uh, amongst other things. And we obviously have a look at Instagram. Not obviously, but we look at Instagram. We look at what you lot have been wearing. So uh, give us a subscribe, it's somewhere down below, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. So first impressions, oh my word. I'm gonna come right in close, SJ. Have a look at that. Medicom Bear Brick 2020 Dunk. And it is, I, I can't quite believe it. So I called it months ago, it was just like, the po what, what is this? Is this calf hair or pony hair, SJ? What would you say, calf hair? What, what? Could be pony hair, could be, could be pony hair. So it is lovely. So just, we're going to just spin around. And this, everyone, this has been inspired from um, a colorway from about 10 years ago on an AF1. And I'm um, actually Medicom, we're going to go over to the other camera, camera two. Um, so Medicom has been working with Nike SB pool, since really like, since the start of SB, really, they've been doing this a long time. You know, the Japanese, and there's a Japanese toy company. I think that they were founded back in 1996. So they've been at this game for a long time. But let's just spin that round, and then we're going to come into the details. But the first thing I want to show you, um, I don't think I can do it on this one. But first of all, I hope you're getting a good sense of this. I'm coming right in close, and it's killing my shoulder. So you can really see just how that sort of calf pony hair is actually covering the whole shoe. So we're gonna go back to the main camera now so I can put the shoe down a little bit um, and talk through this because I wanna show you first of all, rather than showing you the logos and all of that, which I think you've seen, have a look at the heel tab. So we're coming right in close. So you can see there, first of all, we all know, look at that E everyone, the E is terrible but you have got a slightly different, um, you've got a different shade there. Or, uh, what would you just call that? Cream shade. These also, um, overall, now for you OGs, I'm gonna spin that that way so you can see. These are much, much closer to the OG um, shape of a dunk from way back when. And actually, let's have a look at the front because I'm looking at the front of this shoe and it looks a lot higher. Look at this bit here. Look at the toe box, this element there. That looks a lot higher than normal. I wonder if this little camera over here um, is able to is able to focus at all. And you can see that there. Just look at the toe box. It looks a lot higher than normal. Now we've obviously got the logo here, the the, the bare brick, sorry, the at symbol just there. I'm, I'm struggling to hold this bad boy up here. So we can see that there. We've got, we're gonna go back to the main camera, SJ, because my, my arms are hurting. I did a workout, everyone, um, on Sunday. It's Tuesday now. I'm still feeling it. My shoulders are absolutely killing me. So we've got these gold-looking aglets. Come on, SJ, focus. Focus on the aglet. Because <laughs> you all know I can say aglet now. So we've got that. We've got these black laces. 
Now, we've got a slightly puffy tongue. Slightly puffy. It's not overstuffed. And again, you OGs will know what I mean by that. Can't really show that. Now, it's that OG. Oh, let's pull out the paper. That we don't actually have the grippingness. The grippingness technology that is contained within the dunk. So, can we show that there? You can see that there. It's not really in the heel there. Maybe on this camera it'll look better, SJ. We'll flick on to the other camera. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we'll see. That is much, much like she gets the focus in there. Amazing lady, SJ. That's good. And also, what you can see, you're starting to see. In fact, let's spin that round that way. There you go. So, you're still. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, 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 stay on target, as they've said in one film. Stay on target. You're starting to see the inner sole there. And it is that standard Medicon Bear type inner sole. Looks absolutely lovely. It looks amazing. I'm going to try and pull it out because these should have a zoom heel unit in. They should. So we're going to try and pull that out now. And I'm going to actually take the sticker off. So there we go. Let's get this. It's coming. Amazing. And these, I've had two other pairs of of, of Medicon Bear Brick Dunks. Um, I've got the, the sort of denim ones. They're more of that, uh, the old style, well, the terrible thin style pro. So let's have a look at that, everyone. There we go, SJ. That is a thing to behold. It's so good. And I had as also, I had... Um, I think uh, and the Elite um, Me Medicom, which I think was inspired by the original Medicom colorway. But that one, I had two fat ankles, and so I couldn't actually get in the sock. Probably the worst dunk I've ever bought. Um, and I've, I never sent a dunk back before, but I actually sent that dunk back. The other thing I wanted to point out, actually, everyone, on the soles of these, the soles of them, uh, he says, tucking those in. What's different? Tell me what's different, everyone. Leave me a comment. Don't cheat. I'm going to tell you in a minute. Leave me a comment below. What's different about that soul? Have, have you have you decided? Have you guessed? You sure? Okay. Look at this bit. This bit here. Normally, we would have a, a, like the sort of insert there, and it would say Nike SB on. But right now, it doesn't. And, and that's kind of interesting. That's kind of interesting. I think that's a... I'm going to have to go and get some of the OG pairs that I've got upstairs and have a proper look at them and see if, if that was the same. But now, on normal dunks, they definitely have this cut, this this element there as a separate color unit, and it says SB on. So that's kind of interesting. Um, what other details have we got? We've got on the tongue um, as well. I don't know if I called this out. I, I may have done already. You've got the at symbol. Oh, so bad at this, everyone. I'm so bad. There you go. Have a look at that. Now, we're going to have a look at the alternate laces and see if there's anything special about them. Um, they're, they're, so they're standard SB laces, everyone, but they're white, as you can see. But these have actually got a silver, a silver aglet on. I'm going to go right in close to the camera. No one wants to see my finger. Zoom. Do they? But you got that. So, you know, they're they're actually really, really nice. Oh, these this is such a good pair of dunks. Such a good pair of dunks. They they look I can i I'm gonna have to get another pair out. So so when we, we watch the this the cinematic on foot, which will be coming in a minute, when we come back, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring another pair of dunks down with me and we're gonna have a look at this front bit because this looks slightly different. Slightly different. I'm also having a look at quality on these because I've got the. Um, I was looking the other day at the the yellow Grateful Dead bears, and the stitching around here is just a bit weird. It's just a little bit weird. Um, trust me, that they're they're proper 100% legit. I know exactly where they come from. But these these are these are nice. Sj, shout out super loud. If you like these, I like. I think you heard that, everyone. We have to ask her to shout out super loud because the mics are pointed directly at me. So, what what we're going to do, everyone, is we're going to go and have a look at the cinematic on foot, which will be that way.
I hope you uh, enjoyed that that cinematic on foot um, with the, the Medicom Toys Bear Brick uh, 2020 Dunk. Now let's have another look. So there we go. And I'm filming this on my own, so it's not going to be quite as uh, as many cameras. But you can see there, the fur is fabulous. Um, but the thing that I'm not sure whether you can see, and I'm going to bring this right in close. Uh, let's see if I can tip it there. So this, this is all a really, really nice leather. And is that camera? Right, I'm going to try the other camera because it's easier for me to actually hold. Easier for me to hold it there, I think. Or well, maybe it's not actually. It's so much further away. You're not really seeing it. Maybe come back to the original. Right. Okay. So. We're going to try our best to autofocus onto that. Stop. Come on, camera. Do the thing. Yes. Now, you can just about see that. That took a little bit of time. But what we've got there is that's a really, really, really soft leather. It's really nice. And actually, what I found yesterday, what I found yesterday putting these on, and wearing them out when we when we when we filmed that sequence was because this leather is so nice and there's like there's a there's a proper amount of padding in here. There's not those from later dunks, the the elements that grip your feet, but they were actually quite stiff to get on. And so, you know, I talked about them being very similar in shape to the OGs. So I brought some um, different shoes down just to compare against. So Obviously, there's the sole there that I was talking about yesterday. It doesn't have that element in there that says SB now. So what we've got here, we've got oh tape box era. And let's just get these out. And I did get these on uh, StockX because I love these shoes so much. I got them a few, a few years ago now. So we have got the Pusshead 2s. Um, so let's have another look at these. Now, so this is tape box era. What you've got in, in the inner sole, right, in, on the inside here, is it's got those grip things. Um, if we have a look at the two side by side, the toe box, if we look at that, can we see that? Yeah, the toe box of this one is not as high as this one, for sure. Now, and it is a special dunk. It's obviously special dunk, special materials. Um, the... <laughs> This is, is, is sort of puffy, padded, um, but interestingly, the sole has got that element there. So I was thinking, okay, let's take box here, and these are nice dunks, and, and I still need to wear them properly, uh, and still have an amazing inner sole. Like, the, this is, like, nobody knew that they were getting this on the video. Let's have a look over here. Like, still absolutely amazing shoe. Amazing, amazing shoe, right? So... So I thought, hmm, maybe not. Maybe I need to go earlier back. And the earliest I've got is I've got the Tweed Lows from, I think, 2004. Bought these in Flight Club. And these, again, toe box, slight, still slightly higher on these. And I think it's because of the inspiration. I was thinking about this more. Is it because of the, they were inspired by the AF1 way back? But the interesting thing... On the on on here, um, we don't have so on that element, and you can see that these are worn. You can see I have worn these. Come on, focus. <laughs> oh, it's not going to be filming on my own. It's not great. Um, so it hasn't got the grippy thing. In fact, let's have a look on this camera. Maybe that will do it better justice. Yeah, you can see there just on the inside. It's not got that like this. Um, but the thing I noticed as well, which I hadn't really picked up on originally everyone i hadn't picked up on this i hadn't um we're gonna flip back to the main camera it's really hard doing this on my own um have a look at the sole so the original og soles didn't have sb there and actually if we go even further right with these aside from the silver box it doesn't even say sb on there um and i uh, i picked these up from flight club in 2012 they look a bit worn now and stuff, but they're, they're super nice. And I do wear them occasionally. Soles are actually bearing up really, really well. But back to, just put that down there, back to the Medicoms, the 2020 Medicoms. Oh, I just want you to all look. I want you to all look again at that. Is it not, is it not just an amazing shoe? It is fabulous. 
you're going to look around there at the heel again. And actually, the other thing I noticed, you know how we always go on about um, the E on the back of the shoe? Right. Have a look if you can see. Right. And now have a look. I'm The one I'm turning right into the camera. Look at the state of that. And then look at the other. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is hard to do. Like Nike stitching is just terrible. But of course, if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe. It's somewhere down there. Don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up because that really, really helps us. And of course, there will be another video that Nike, Nike, well, Nike probably doesn't want you to watch my videos, but Google's algorithm, somewhere over here, everyone, somewhere over there, will pick you another amazing video to go and watch. So go and watch that because I'm sure you'll enjoy watching them. No, no, genuinely, go and watch it. Yeah, really, please, thanks. Oh, and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And of course, if you've not been to Sneaker Streaming Sundays every Sunday, it's 8 p.m. UK time, 12 p.m. on the West Coast, 3 p.m. on the East Coast. Now go and watch one of those videos.